Hi guys, it's me, Ashy, and welcome to the second episode of my sketchbook project series. So first thing I decided to do for this part was I decided to paint a little thing on the front of my sketchbook cover. First I added the little Mouthman sticker from Blush Sprout, and then I took my Posca pens and just started drawing out what I wanted to add to my cover. <laughs> So in this clip, uh, you can probably tell that off camera, I had taken my yellow Posca pen marker and gone over the word book because I didn't like the like sort of Kelly green color that the green I used was. So here I am just taking the two colors mixed together in a little bowl and taking a paintbrush and painting over the word book 
so it is more of a yellow green color that I prefer. So here I cut out some footage, but basically all I missed was me coloring in her skin, her skin tone and her, the tip of her hair. This is really where the, um, like action gets going in me coloring her. But, so the kind of backstory behind this piece is this is actually a redraw. This concept is a old Steven Universe OC that was created pretty, I think pretty early on in Steven Universe. I can't be sure. Probably like 2014, 2015. I don't know. Um, around when I was like either a sophomore or a junior in high school. The idea behind this character, while also being a Steven Universe OC was I went back when I was getting into alcohol markers aka Copics which was really one of the only brands out there for alcohol markers and was probably the biggest brand I like asked for some for Christmas and my parents got me the like six set of the grays the like the six set of like the neutral grays like i think that's called the sketching grays so i created her to use use those markers i don't know if she ever had a um story um besides being like she was either like a statue or a performer i think she was supposed to be like a performer and she was like either marble or granite or something like that but for this version of her for this redraw of her she's just like a, a living statue now you can't see them very well now but you'll see them later on in different clips uh the right side of this sketchbook spread are two other characters that I created probably around this time maybe a little later and are also redraws from that time but it is a, a much smaller time of in space of from when they were originally drawn to when they were drawn in this sketchbook they are a a unicorn satyr and a deer satyr and their girlfriends uh, they didn't have much story besides the fact that they're girlfriends. <laughs> but the fact that these two, three character designs are uh, all redraws is why uh, Marble Girl got put on the other side of this spread.
So throughout the course of making this video, I actually happened to find the original two pieces I did of Marble Girl. As you can see, there's also a second character that went along with her, but she hasn't withstood the test of time in my mind compared to Marble Girl. This is just really special to me because while I've done redraws in the past, they've all been sort of a short amount of time compared to this redraw that I've done. Um, a lot of them were like, oh, two years in between, a year in between, you know. This is like five years in between me drawing this this character and redrawing her. Okay, and this is just a flip through of my sketchbook. Um, I have some other stuff in there, but you can't see it until other videos. Um, and I've added some stickers, and I also added a swatch chart of all of my markers. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching this video. I hope you'll join me for my next one.